shut the fuck up. Okay, está bien. Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm filming another one of my like kind of watch this if you're bored tutorials. Watch this if you're bored or stress tutorials. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of get ready with you guys, talk to you guys. Um, so I was getting ready to film, and I tried out a new uh, Maybelline launched some new brow products. They launched a brow pomade and then uh, brow pencils as well. Um, first impressions: the brow pencil I kind of don't like as much. The brow pomade I do feel like it is a very good uh, pomade for the price. It is very, very, very affordable. You guys know CoverGirl is a very affordable brand. Um, so I was going to do my brows off camera and then come back and film and then I forgot and I just started doing my eyeshadow but for my eyes I literally just took uh, the shade Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and I put it all over my lid and just literally really quick I swiped it all over, blended, up a, uh, blended it up a little bit and then I did a wing so you guys didn't really miss much. Um, but I'm still gonna do the rest of my face makeup with you guys, so I hope it's not an issue, I'm sorry, um, next time I'll do, like, my full eye makeup and stuff too, but it's because this isn't really more so a tutorial, I just kinda wanna talk to you guys and stuff. Um, so, for, um, my face, I'm gonna start off with my Smashbox, um, primerizer, and it's so bomb, this primer has really become... One of my favorite primers ever, you guys. It's so, so moisturizing. Um, and... Oh, and I, I have so many new products that I need to try out with you guys. Um, it's just I literally have so many new products. Like, I have, like, eight new setting sprays that I need to try out. Um, like, CoverGirl just sent over their setting sprays. So, I... Or their, well, their setting spray, so... I need to try that one, and then um, Seattle London literally just sent me their new Dewy Spritz spray. I believe this is a setting spray as well. They sent a little umbrella with this, and my bogus stole it already. He's already over there playing with it. Um, I hope it doesn't rip it because I really want to keep it. Like, I have a freaking Seattle London umbrella. Like, what the hell? Like, it's so cool. I don't know. It's just so cool to me. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to take now a little bit of my Smashbox primer oil. Um, this, I do like it because I have dry skin. I don't know if it does much for me, but I do like it. I, I haven't used it for that long, though, so I don't know. I'm still going to continue using it and then, like, create my final thoughts on it. Okay, let's read this Dewy Spritz. It says, uh, skin hydrating, which I love. Shake well before you to activate. Hold the bottle 20 centimeters away. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Prep, prime, and set with Seattle London's uh, Dewy Spritz. This luminous prime and set spray is enriched with high hyaluron acid. I don't know how to say that. And green tea extracts. Extracts. Use this oil-free multitasking marvel before makeup to hydrate, prime, and illuminate skin to create a flawless base. Okay, so we're going to open this up. I think this is the one that I'm going to use today. Oh, it looks so cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me shake it up, but I don't know if you guys can see like the color on it, but it's super cool. Like the color is really, really cool. I don't think you guys, I don't think it's showing up on camera like that much, but it kind of looks like those like shimmery, like a body um, mist from like Bath and Body Works. Okay. Shake to activate. I'm going to spritz this on my face. Ooh. This is, it smells pretty good. I don't know what it smells like, but I, so far, I like it. I like, like, every single setting spray I ever try, you guys. But this one looks so cool, so it kind of gets me, because it looks so cool. Okay, I'm going to go wet a beauty blender really quick, and then I'll be right back to finish off the rest of my makeup. I have about an hour to finish getting ready, um, including my makeup, my outfit, and everything. I'm not gonna do too much today though. Um, I don't have really anything to do. Oh, I need some brow gel. My brow hairs are going cray cray. Um, this Maybelline brow pomade, I do like it. I definitely like my regular Benefica brow better, but for the price, it's definitely very affordable. I'm taking care of Bogus and he's crying. I'll be right back again. What's wrong, Anthony? Anthony! Let me call mommy, okay? I feel like that dewy spray actually made me a little bit, like, glowy. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it did make me a little bit more glowy. I'm gonna call my mom because Anthony's crying. He wants her. Anthony, le voy a llamar, okay? 
Okay, anyways, let's continue. Today I have some adulting stuff to do. I have to go and do my taxes, which I kind of really don't want to do. I'm kind of scared, but it's something that I need to get taken care of, so it's something that needs to be done. Bueno? Bueno? Oh, I'm so fucking weak. Anthony has my mom's phone, so I called my mom to tell her that he's crying, but... Bueno? I tried to call my mom to tell her that Anthony's crying, but he has the phone, so he's the one that answered. I was like, what the... I actually used two different shades in my Makeup Forever, um, but I can't find my other shade in my Makeup Forever. I usually use uh, Y365 and Y375. Um, just because I feel like if I use Y365 alone, I feel like I do kind of get like a little tiny bit of flashback. Not a lot, but it's there. And I feel like if I don't cream contour with this foundation, it kind of does give me a little bit of flashback like don't get me wrong like the foundation looks amazing in like pictures and stuff but i feel like it does kind of give me a little tiny 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 bit of flashback um if i don't uh if i don't use cream contour with it i'm gonna blend this out just using my booty blender i'm just using a y365 today because i can't find my other shade for some reason um but it's okay i'm not gonna be taking any pictures today or anything I'm literally just gonna go do my taxes, come back, probably take this makeup off and film another tutorial, like an actual tutorial. I've been so into like the oh my god, mommy, what are you doing? I've been so into like like soft glittery glam. Like I'll show you guys in a different tutorial what I'm talking about. But I've just been so into like not like super super glammed up looks, like still glam but like more like toned down. I've been so into those types of looks. So I'll show you guys later, like I said, but oh, I just can't wait to show you guys. Um, I'm getting back into filming and stuff, and I just feel so exhausted lately. Like, I'm just so, so, so tired. I know maybe it's because I'm lazy, because I'm just lazy, but usually if I want to get up, I can get up and, like, do stuff and, like, not be lazy, but I've just been so tired and so lazy lately. Um, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and my Maybelline Fit Me. Um, I'm going to use some of my, of my Tarte Shape Tape on my chin and on my nose. And just my Tarte Shape Tape alone on there. Blend it out and then I'll use some of my Maybelline Fit Me under my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is I don't want it to be too bright under my eyes. <laughs> Anthony, come here! I don't know why mommy loves to get q-tips and try to chew them up like she always goes for the q-tips I don't know why um, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my under eyes oh it's itchy right here but I can't itch it um so and also sometimes I'm lazy because sometimes I'll stay at Daniel's house and at Daniel's house like um like I know like I just don't, I'm, I'm not going to feel 100% comfortable like I am at my house, you know, like I don't feel 100% comfortable getting up in the mornings and just getting up and, you know, doing shit and at my house I can get up and just do shit, you know, but at his house I know that I can, I know that his parents like aren't going to say anything and I know that his parents don't really care as much anymore, like his parents are very religious though, so like I know that in the beginning like they probably cared a little bit that I would stay there because they're like religious like I said but now they don't really mind it because they know like they know me they like they they like me you know and they know me and Dale are together and I don't know I don't know how to explain it you know but say it's the same thing like with my parents my parents like I know my dad in the beginning it would bother him so bad that I would go stay at Daniel's house because you know Mexican parents and stuff but now I feel like my dad's just kind of used to it and like he doesn't really care as much anymore oh I actually like the way my foundation looks today okay now I'm going to set everything in place I'm not going to really chrome contour I don't care if I have like a little tiny bit of flashback the flashback with this foundation is not horrible like it's not horrible at all it's really not a lot at all oh my god I hate when she Still can't believe I called. I tried to call my mom and I actually called Anthony. But I'm trying to call my mom for Anthony. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna cream contour today. Um, I just I'm kind of in a rush a little bit. 
Um, I'm going to, ooh, this, it's not, my foundation is not creaking, like, whatsoever, y'all. Like, oh my god, it looks so good today. Um, I'm using my Laura Mercier powder. You guys know this is, like, the only powder I ever use. I love my Laura Mercier. Okay. Um, I put off doing my taxes for as long as I could. I just... I don't know why I'm so I always put off the important stuff when I know I should not do that like I'm gonna do my driving school soon too because I want to do that I want to take care of everything I need to get taken care of like in these next like this next month hopefully uh, I also need to get new contacts which I need to call them about that as well there's just a lot that I need to do like in this next like month or whatever I know it's doable though I just need to get my shit together and not be lazy um whatever powder is left on here i'm taking a big like brush and i'm kind of gonna use it to set everything in place that way everything's not like too that way when i put my bronzer on it's not gonna be like catch or anything i'm gonna dust away the powder from under our eyes I feel like I look so funny to me. Um, I, okay, so, the lights or whatever, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't have all my lights set up or anything. Um, literally, the only light I'm using right now for this video is my ring light. Where is my bronzer? Why is all of my makeup gone? I, like, mom just takes a bunch of my stuff and just, like, oh, uh, I don't like using any other brush for my bronzer, you guys. Um, I guess I'm gonna use maybe this one for my bronzer today. Or, I'll use this one. Um, I'm going to use a Real Techniques Multitask Brush for my uh, bronzer day. Um, you guys know I love my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is like my ride or die bronzer. This one and, I, and the MAC Give Me Sun are like two of my favorite bronzers ever. I'm just going to use this to give some color to my face. Oh my god, I, I really need my bronzer brush. I don't like using any other brush besides this. Or besides that one. I know my bronzer looks crazy on camera, but it literally, sometimes it looks a little bit crazy on camera, but in person it literally looks good. In person, if I do it like very lightly to the point where it looks like good on camera for you guys, like in person it'll look like I don't even have anything on. But I personally like my contour a little bit intense, um, but it's okay, we'll blend everything out in the end. Baking under my... Making under my contour. When I film these type of videos, I just feel like I can talk to you guys more. Like, I know I can talk to you guys in my regular chores as well. But, I feel like I can just talk to you guys more. And I feel like, um, this year I've gotten a lot more comfortable, like, with my camera and with talking to you guys. Like, it's just, like, a lot more choked back now. Dude, and I need to clean my room so bad. I need to... Ugh. I... I brought so much makeup back from when I, from my trip in LA and I need to put that all away as well. I need to sort my stuff for my giveaways and also I'm having a little issue with my giveaways so I'm trying to do giveaways a lot but my only issue is and I know that I'm not calling any, I'm not saying that you guys are weird or anything, I'm just saying like I don't 100% feel comfortable with giving out my address all the time and every time that um, I ship out a giveaway package, it makes me put my address on it, like my actual, my actual legit address. And I just don't really feel comfortable with that, you know? I don't know. I feel like you guys can understand that though, because I feel like no one really feel, feel, would feel comfortable with putting their address out there all the time. So I'm taking my V Balm, it's like this little blush uh, palette. I'm not sure if this is a bronzer over here, but I, I just mix all three of them. And I use it as a blush. I've really been liking this. Bl these blushes from the balm. I also have an eyeshadow palette from them that I need to try out. I'm debating whether I'm going to use that um, to try it out or whether I'm going to give it away in a giveaway. The thing is though that sometimes like I have a lot of palettes that literally I've only ever swatched like when I'll get like you know when you get a new palette and you're you're swatching it and stuff that's what I do and then I never end up using like I'll swatch it and then I'll be like, eh, like I don't think I'm gonna use this. And then I and then I, and then I'm over here like wishing that I would have given given it away in a giveaway. 
but I already swatched it, so like it's already used, you know, so I can't really do that. Um, I'm trying to, why are all my brushes gone? Okay, um, I'm going to use this Royal Techniques brush, or this, um, Royal, Royal brush from, for, this Royal brush for my nose contour. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... I'm not going to go in too much today, but I am going to kind of like, you know, try to swim down my nose a little bit. Ugh. I've been like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know why. Like one day I'll feel like, oh, like, oh my God. Like I feel happy. Like, like my subscribers, you know, and like, like I, I have it like, pretty good right now. And then other days I'm just like not like feeling anything and then like I'll feel like very, I feel like, and then like, I'll, I don't know, I'll just feel like I'm not like doing anything or going anywhere. And then other days I do feel like I'm, you know, doing something and like, but I am, I don't know how to put this. It's not just like, and I don't know, sometimes I, I just, it's kind of hard for me to control my emotions sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll be good, sometimes I won't be good. Um, but that's just life, I guess. Everybody has problems, everybody has issues. I'm going to take this under here as well. Whether, you, whether like, it, it, it may, everything may seem perfect, you know, but everybody has problems, everybody has issues, you know. Um... A lot of people don't talk about it. Like sometimes if Daniel's having like issues or having problems, you know, or like feeling down or whatever, I just tell him that. I'm like, everybody has issues, everybody has problems. Not like everybody has issues, everybody has problems, like yours are not important. That's not what I'm saying at all. Um, but sometimes I feel like, um, sometimes I feel like we'll, we'll have like a problem and then we like, you know, we'll like drown ourselves in that, just that problem, you know. Um, and I do that so much, but sometimes, like, I think sometimes, sometimes it's good to talk about, like, how you're feeling and about your issues and stuff, because if you, if you bottle something inside for too much or for too long, eventually one day, like, you know, it's gonna, it's all gonna come out and it's not gonna be good because you've bottled it up for so long and, like, like I feel like, I don't know, if I... Sometimes if I'm having issues though, like I don't talk about it because sometimes I don't even know like what my issue is. Sometimes like I'll just be upset and that's that, you know. Oh, I wanted to use this one for my nose highlight, this brush, but I think it's dirty. Oh, actually it's not. I can still use it. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my Amrezy highlighter. I actually really like the way my makeup is looking today, you guys. Like I really, really like it. I think this is going to be my new routine for when I'm doing like like not a lot of makeup or when I want to do quick makeup because this makeup literally did not take me long at all holy shit it's literally taking me like taking me like 13 minutes you guys holy crap well not 13 minutes to do my whole makeup but to do like my face makeup usually it would take me so long you guys um I don't know if I told you guys but I'm using the Amrezy highlighter this one is a good one I really, really like this highlighter, and I feel like Anastasia's highlighters, like, Anastasia's a big brand, you know, so I feel like their highlighters, I expected them to be a lot more expensive. Um, I think this one was, like, $28. I think her highlighters are all $28 or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how much they are. Um, and for it being such a big brand, you know, like, she could, she could really, like, price her highlighters up a lot more, you know, and she hasn't. I'm going to use my... Dewy spray? Am I? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna use my dewy spray and I'm gonna kind of set down my face and then I'll highlight after I kind of set down my face. I'm really liking this Seattle London though. Like, really, really liking it. I like the smell of it. It just smells like fresh. Um, and I just like it a lot, you guys. Um, going to highlight. Sometimes, I feel like lately I've been having like a lot of anxiety over like nothing sometimes and it just sucks, you know, but I think sometimes like, sometimes I think I just need to take a deep breath and 
not overthink stuff, you know. Or sometimes I'll get stressed out about like not filming. But it's because literally the days go by so fast. Like holy crap, you guys would be so surprised. Like the days go, the days go by fast, you guys. Um, but I'm finally getting back into schedule, schedule, and I have um a lot of stuff coming up in the next like couple months. Well, not a lot of stuff, but I have some big changes coming up in the next months, which I'll you know update you guys on that later on. I'm going to take um a different brush, and I'm gonna. Highlight a little bit more. Just like that. This highlight is intense, you guys. You can see that. Oh my god. Holy crap. This highlight is so good. I've really been obsessed with this. Okay. I'm going to set my face one more time. And then I'm going to kind of pat that in with my little beauty blender dang I really love this makeup you guys like this makeup is like it is a lot of makeup so it's not like oh like one product or whatever but it's really really bomb like I'm really digging this look you guys I think this is my new look for when I um, am rushing or for when I because sometimes I'll be rushing but I'm still over here cream contouring and I'm still over here like doing the most and then I wonder why it's taking me so long but I feel like this makeup looks pretty A1. Um, I wonder if it has like flashback. We should test it. Um, I think that it's going to have a little tiny bit because like I said I've tested out this foundation before and without cream contour I feel like it does give me like a little bit of flashback. Um, actually it's not like horrible or anything like the flashback like I said it's not horrible or I don't even know if I see any flashback you guys this picture doesn't really look like it has flashback at all actually okay I'll insert it so you guys can see it but it doesn't look to me like it has any flashback so um I'm now going to take a big brush where are all my brushes I feel like all my brushes are missing and I'm going to kind of blend everything together make sure there's no harsh lines See, like, sometimes you can see my contour looks too strong, but it looks good, you guys. Like, it looks really, really good. I'm so happy with this makeup. Ah! Okay, um, I kind of want to do, like, okay, never mind. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to take um, my Bad Gal Bang Mascara and use this under my lower lashes. Or on my lower lashes. Just a little bit like that. I don't know if this video is going to be like super long or anything, but it's still kind of one of my like long makeup tutorials because like I'm not really going to have to do too many edits for this or anything. It's literally going to be very raw and very like chilled back, you know. I'm taking the shade Vermeer um, in my inner corner. Just like that. And now I'm going to use a little bit of mascara before I do lashes. I'll probably do my lashes off camera still just because I'm not very good at doing them on camera. Did I already do mascara on the top? I think I did. Okay, I think I did do mascara. Um, I don't know what lashes to use though. I've been really obsessed with Lily lashes, you guys. They're like a little bit more on the pricey side, but they're really, 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 really good. Um, Miss Fat Beauty also just sent over some of their new styles. Um, and the one that stood out to me is this one. It's called Aurora. And it looks so good. Oh, so fluffy. Um, I'll have my code for Miss Fat Beauty listed down below. Oh, I kind of do want to use these lashes. But I kind of want to use... Did Mommy's fart? Holy crap, man. Um, but I kind of want to use Slay Lashes. They sent me a package, like, not too long ago, and I haven't really used their lashes too much. I used them once. I kind of want to try them out, though, but that one for Miss Fab Beauty, that style, really stands out to me. You know what? We're going to go with Miss Fab Beauty. Um, I'm going to apply these off camera. 
and then I'll be right back. But look at how beautiful these look, you guys. Like, they look so fluffy and just, like, really, really, really beautiful. Um, if you guys want to save some money on Moose Beauty, it's not an affiliate code whatsoever. I don't make money off of it, but if you guys want to save some money on Moose Beauty, I'll have my code listed down below. I'm going to put these lashes on real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I only have I only have a few more minutes left, um, and then I need to leave the house. For my lips, I'm going to be going in with my MAC uh, lip, lip Pencil in the shade Boldly Bare. Uh, I'm just going to line my lips lightly um, whenever I do looks like kind of that are more simple-ish. Um, I kind of want to keep my lips toned down as well. Sometimes, depending on what I'm feeling, I'll go for a bolder lip, but... Today, I want to tone it down just a little bit. I was thinking the other day of like story times that I could do, and I ran across this video on YouTube. And I think this girl did like a story time of like when she ran away from her house or something, and that gave me an idea to do story times of when I would run away from my house because when I was younger, too. Um, I used to run away um and i have like the perfect um story or whatever i remembered like the perfect story and it's so freaking funny you guys like thinking about it but i can't remember the ending i don't remember if i ended up just going home or if my parents found me but i think um i think what had happened is i think i just ended up like going back home um but i can't 100 percent remember but i remember like pretty much all of the story except that and i don't know if i ended up going back home or like what the hell um i went in with i'm gonna go in with my buxom power plump it's kind of like a tinted lip balm i used this other one right in now right here right um when i had just i had just used this one but i want like a little bit of a darker color so i'm gonna go in with the shade fear fiery looks like this hopefully it's not yeah and it's nice because it's like a tinted balm it's not like super over the top pigmented. Actually, for it being a lip balm, it actually is pretty pigmented. Okay. So I don't want it to be like this much. I'm basically just gonna go with my finger and take most of, most of it off. Oh, I have a better idea. I kind of just want it to be kind of like a stain. I have like actual lip stains um, from Benefit. I'm going to take this one from Benefit, the Go Go tint. And I'm just going to use this because this is like actually a lip stain. Slightly. Oh, I feel like this is too dark. I went too dark. You know what? I should change the plan. I'm going to kind of take this off. Look. My lips already look pretty stained. I'm going to go back in with the Go Go tint and I think just add like a little tiny, tiny drop. Just like that. Um, and then I'll go in with the Buxom in the shade Glowing. Just like that. I just want my lips to look like pretty natural. So this is going to be it for this video, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to do more like get ready with me kind of like this. Um, just like whenever I'm getting ready and I'm trying to leave the house, I'll turn on my camera and just, you know, talk to you guys. Um, I kind of felt like talking to you guys a little bit, so I decided to film this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a huge thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed, make sure that you guys subscribe. Um, I always tell you guys to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Um, for this video, you guys should leave me a nice comment and make sure that you guys thumbs up the video. Those are the two things I want you guys to do. You guys don't have to, obviously, but it would mean a lot to me if you guys would leave me a nice comment and also thumbs up the video. I'll go through the comments and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support, you guys. It really means a lot to me. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.